Recently, my favorite vlogs to watch have been um, like reading dark romance. And so I was thinking I am, I'm currently reading book one in a new dark mafia romance series. So um, once I finish this, it's going to be October before the next book is out. And then I think that I'm going to jump back into this author's other series because I had started that two months ago, two or three months ago. I read that and so I'm going to do a reading vlog of um, Dark Romance Mafia. I am super in the mood for Mafia Romance. I feel like I could just binge so many of them right now. Um, this is the... This is the most that I have read since probably July. Um, August was not the best reading month for me. I mainly listen to audiobooks. Uh, so I'm getting back into reading with my eyeballs. Uh, and my cat is really not happy with me right now because she wants attention. Because she only wants attention when I'm vlogging. Hi, kitty. Okay, I gave her some pets and now she's sleeping on the cushion next to me. Well, she's not sleeping. She's just laying there, but she's so cute. Uh, but yeah, so I'm 174 pages into this and it says that I am 37% in, which is nice. I like a longer book when it comes to mafia and dark romance. So yeah, um, I'm gonna finish this one and probably then jump into the next series that I'm gonna be vlogging about. He, okay, so they have a marriage of convenience, more like a marriage of inconvenience, because uh, they don't want it, and it's to stop a mafia war, and somebody blew up a van at their wedding, and she got a cut on her leg that he just bandaged, and she asks if he's done yet, and he says almost. And he fucking kisses the bandage that he just put on her leg. That's not all he's doing. I can't even see to keep reading on my Kindle because I'm crying so much. <laughs> oh, God. Not only did this man just grab a sword out to go avenge his wife, his brother, it like sees him doing this and says about Annika, in case you've forgotten, brother, your wife is my sister. Like, oh, we love a brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I'm reading, um, I forgot the name of the book. I'm crying. Um, Vicious Hearts by Jagger Cole. I'm 197 pages in and it has just destroyed me at one of, at this death. I, oh my gosh. Like I have to put the book down for a minute. I could be totally off base with this, but honestly, I don't think I am. Uh, the doctor that just randomly came back into Una's life, I am almost certain is still working for her father and is like harboring him because everybody thought he was dead and now his body is just in a grave somewhere, except that it's not because it's not even a male cadaver. And yeah, no, I, I, this doctor just randomly comes back in like 70% into the book. No, she's got something to do with it. Whether it's that she's upset that her research was like put on the back burner or the program was canceled and dissolved or whatever it may be, I think she's, I think it's, 
gonna be that she's involved majorly. She just said that an upstairs neighbor is cooking something that smells like death. And Seamus's body is missing. If that man's corpse is rotting in this apartment, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, she is absolutely gonna be drugged. The doctor apparently lives in a very nice apartment and just told Una that she comes from money and Castle just told Killian that no, she does not. Uh, yeah, so she's definitely working with Seamus who is not dead. Mm -mm. Well, I was right, but somehow I also didn't connect that she is a postal. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say, honestly. I, So I just got into bed and I really don't feel good, but I'm gonna probably finish Sinful Hearts tonight because I only have like 25% left, maybe less. Um, there's still a lot that needs to be wrapped up and I'm getting a little bit nervous because like there's a big subplot with Elsa and um, Hades doesn't know anything about that. Like he knows that these, that Elsa and Leo are connected in some way, uh, but he doesn't know how. And so that still has to come out. And he had like hired a private investigator, which I don't like, um, but he's got to figure that out. And I'm just, I know that it's gonna lead to some sort of confrontation. So I'm not excited for that. I don't like the confrontation conflict kind of thing. Um, I, no, I know that it's necessary to have conflict for the plot and to move forward, but I don't like it. It gives me anxiety. So I'm, I'm just, I'm excited for the rest of the book. There's a lot of good stuff coming up, but I'm not excited for the confrontation that's going to come from it and figuring out, like whether it's Hades and Elsa or Hades and Leo or whatever happens with it, like I'm just not excited. I know it's gonna make me so anxious. I hate that books do that to me. Like I enjoy having an emotional response to the books, but I don't I don't like the anxiety. Um, gosh, I don't feel very good. So I might go to sleep before I finish the book and just finish it in the morning, but I am hopeful to finish it tonight. So we'll see what happens. There has just been an explosion out in front of the girl's pub that's supposed to have a soft opening tonight. And I just, I don't think that I can deal with a dead grandparent plotline right now. Um, so I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> okay, so I have decided to finish the book. Um, because I think that everyone that I'm currently worried about has been mentioned in a book that takes place after this one in, like, a different series that's still within the world of this universe. Um, so I'm gonna finish it tonight. And I might 
record my reaction to some stuff or like talk about it but I also might because I also might not because I might get caught up in reading because I only have like 20% left uh, but I will sit down and talk about it when I wake up and that'll probably be the end of this vlog once I sit down and talk about it because um, I'm gonna try to break this up into two parts for this series and then probably continue doing little reading vlogs like this for like each of the other series and then there's like six in each of them so I'll probably do three and three uh, but that's the current plan I'm gonna lay down and read probably finish the book and then go to bed talk about it tomorrow and then edit this video and have it scheduled so yeah next time you see me I will probably be crying over something at the end of this book okay so I'm all tucked into bed and I'm at 84% and I know that it's setting up to be like miscommunication almost um but I, I don't like it. I don't like that Elsa is suddenly unaccounted for, missing, and Hades just found out who her father is, and like all of her stuff is no longer in his apartment, and I think think that because his guys out front that were monitoring his house are dead it absolutely means that Leo and Gavin have something to do with Elsa disappearing I think she and Nora have probably been threatened and taken somewhere but I don't like how it's being set up right now with Hades talking about he's gonna bury her and it's a good thing she wasn't there because he was going to kill her. And just, I understand that he is mad. I understand that his grandmother's life was threatened. Actually, not just threatened. There was an attempt on all of their lives. And Yaya and Eilish are both in the hospital so like I understand that he is mad and I am mad that it has even happened like shut up why are you doing this shit uh, honestly I don't even really think that it's Leo and Gavin like I'm I'm sure that that's where it's gonna go like logically but part of me thinks that, um, I can't remember his name right now, but the, uh, Vanya's brother, I feel like he had been getting involved with the Russians as well. So maybe it's more him not wanting his father to sell off his whole empire or like, I don't know. I think I'm reading a little too much into it. I've read so many of these by now that I feel like I know what's gonna happen and it's not as convoluted as I'm making it out to be. Uh, I'm not gonna be reading the entire thing tonight though, like I'd said I would because I'm exhausted and it's after 3 a.m. So I might get another chapter in, but I am fully about to fall asleep. I did take melatonin already, so I'll see how much I can do. And then when I wake up in the morning or possibly afternoon, I'll keep going with it because I don't think I'm making it through the next 16%, the last 16% without falling asleep for quite a while. I'm actually like really worried about Elsa because now it's been five days and she's just nowhere to be found. Okay, so I thought it was going to be Fanya's brother, but apparently 
her dad has just been lying about dying of cancer for like three months and he doesn't like that she's gay so he's just super homophobic and causing a war between all the various families Seriously, come on. Her father had the woman she loves killed. This shit. I have now read one more chapter than I said I was going to. And then I flipped the page so that I could put the bookmark thing into it. And it's an Elsa chapter. And she and Nora are, in fact, imprisoned somewhere. So now I have to read this chapter, too. And I am so tired. <laughs> so, one more chapter. Okay, I don't know how Gavin knew that they were there, unless he's just been staking it out, which is always a possibility in these books. But I, I don't think Vanya's involved right now. And I would really like to continue to believe that she is not. I think that the next book is about Gavin and this current chapter, which I am just realizing that I read the entire Elsa chapter and went to a new chapter. Um, seriously, one more chapter. Uh, but anyway, I'm feeling a lot better about the fact that he is the main character for the next book I believe he is um because it's really interesting to me the synopsis so I was looking forward to it until I was reading this one realizing that I did not like this guy but now I think I kind of like him to at like to the point that if he's going to be the next main character then he can't be awful for the family in the interconnected standalone. Vanya's still cool and now she's the new head of the Albanian family. This is great. I don't think I can stop reading. I have to present left and she pushed the button. I can't stop. So this guy is like batshit fucking insane. He has kidnapped Elsa because he thinks that he is in love with her and has imagined an entire relationship with her but I unfortunately cannot stop picturing him as the the um the yoohoo big summer blowout guy from Frozen so unfortunately it is just not doing for me what I'm sure it was supposed to because I think that he could probably sell me ski shoes. You cannot see me, but I finished it. And I will talk about it more in the morning when I wake up. Okay, so. I have a lot of thoughts about Sinful Hearts. Maybe not a lot, but I, I, a good few. I touched on some of them last night as I was reading and tried to do my best to react to them. Uh, so when I started the book, I was super excited because I love Elsa as a character and she had been in the previous two books just like here and there popping in because she's their lawyer and she was just helping to facilitate certain things like I think it was the last book that the girls started to really, um, like they bought the pub and started working on that. So she was there with paperwork and stuff like that. Um, but I was super excited for her book because I love her and she'd been described in passing as an ice queen. And so I knew that the book was Hades and Elsa. But I don't think that I had paid all that much attention to Hades as a character. Um, so I was excited going into it. And then I kind of got to the point where like, I got about a hundred pages in, wasn't super into it, but 
I pushed through because it was still entertaining. And then it really picked up, got more invested into what was going on. And I just, I feel like for as much as I didn't really connect to it in the first like 150 pages, I'm so upset at how it ended. Like in general, I think the ending was fine. I rated the book five stars. I am not stingy with five stars. Um, so, you know, that's my own issue. But like overall, five star read. However, I don't like how it just kind of felt like it wasn't wrapped up the way I would have preferred. Um, we have a hurricane and my cat has been under my bed because we're getting a lot of rain and thunder and stuff and she just came out and her's being brave and she's just standing right by me because she likes when I film. Um, but the Leo plot line and like the Albanians, I didn't enjoy how it seemed to wrap up with no real repercussion. I guess because the conflict, the main issue in the book turned out to be not the Russians, not the Albanians. It was just the guy she used to work for um, or work with or that creep was the real issue. I still felt like that felt a little bit rushed and that's kind of annoying me because I really loved the last two books and I liked like how high stakes it felt. And this still felt high stakes, but it also felt rushed. It felt like if there was a little bit more to it, I would have been a lot happier and the kitty cats under the bed again. So I just, I don't know. I'm excited to get to the next one because now that things have resolved, I'm excited to see Gavin's storyline. So that'll be exciting. But I just hope that the ending doesn't kind of let me down like this one did. And again, I say that like I didn't give the book five stars, but I, I did and I really enjoyed it and I was crying the whole time. So I don't know. I just wasn't completely thrilled with how it ended. But I, I, I think that the next one's going to be good. Fingers crossed. Um, but that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I typically reply to comments. So if you want to talk about it or you have other dark mafia romance suggestions, I am always taking them. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to go up Friday because my hurricane vlog is probably going to go up Friday since it's going to start settling down for us on Friday since we're at this point not taking the brunt of the storm. Uh, so this could go up next Friday. Not sure. Gonna see what happens. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, talk to me in the comments, suggest some dark mafia romance, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!